Welcome to Power BI Quick Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to order months chronologically. In this report, I'm using England and Wales birth data, and I've added a graph showing 2018's birth rate by month. The problem is, when I sort the graph by month, they get ordered alphabetically. As you can see here, it says April, August, December, instead of January, February, March. Now, there are different ways you can fix this, and the way I'm going to show you in this video is to create and add a month table that tells Power BI how to order the graph. So you first have to create a table similar to this CSV. It needs to have a minimum of two columns, one list in the month names, and another with the order you want the months to display in. Here I'm ordering the months from January, but you may want to start in April if you're reporting on financial years. So now you want to add this table into Power BI. To do this, go up to the Get Data button, select the table type, mine CSV, choose the table, and then load it directly into Power BI. Next, you want to order this table correctly. So to do this, go to the Data tab, and then in the right-hand panel, click on the month table so you can edit it. You now want to order the months. So click on the month column and go to the sort by column button and select the order column as the number you want to sort the months by. Next, go back to the report tab and this is where you join the month table to the data table used in the graph. To do this, go to the modeling menu and select Manage Relationships. Now your Power BI may have already detected a relationship between the two tables, but I've turned this Auto Detect off, so we'll need to add it. Click on New, select the data table, and here Power BI's kind of guess what I want to do, but you need to select the months table and highlight the field you want to join the tables on and press OK and close. The final stage is to change the graph to use the correctly ordered month field from the new table. So select the graph, delete the existing month column and then add in the month column from the new table. So drag that in and here you have the chart where the months are ordered correctly. Now this may seem like a long-winded way of ordering the months in a chart, but you do now have that table in your project, which you can link to other tables or use as a filter on reports. 